you for tuning in for another introduction to another awesome graphic novel series that I just finished reading and I am still kind of working on. But it is The Six Gun by Oni Press. The Six Gun is considered a Western fantasy. This book is written by Cullen Bunn, who I've never really heard of before, and I think it's illustrated by Brian Hurt. Um, a couple of the later issues are illustrated by other guys, too. You'll see their names featured on the covers. Um, this is not your grandpappy's Western. Um, this is so much more intense than, you know, those cowboy, you know, pulp, pulp novels. When Goodreads had recommended this book to me, I was thinking, oh great, it's going to be a boring western about cowboys and Indians, and I really didn't know what to expect. But then I started reading the first issue, which was De Cold Dead Fingers. It introduces you to the six guns, and it's called the six gun because the number, the six gun in the series of of these otherworldly guns all exhibit these different powers and um they're all from this evil like confederate general who he some say he made a pact with the devil and that is why he has all this power but the main gun the sixth gun foresees the future and like can tell the user of the gun what's going to happen next um, each gun, they get bound to a certain person. When whoever holds the gun before gets killed, and the new person picks up that gun, that gun becomes bound to that person, connected to their soul, and no one else can touch that gun afterwards, because it'll catch their hand on fire if they try to touch it, or like shock them. Um, each of these six guns have like different powers. Um, there's one gun that shoots, and it's like a cannon blast. It has such an intense blast. Another gun shoots hellfire. Um, another gun, like, when it hits the person, they become a minion. And, like, everybody who dies by that gun is a minion of the person who holds the gun. Another gun, when you get hit with it, it, it turns you into a rotting, like, corpse. It kills you and this you decay immediately. Another gun, the owner who is an old lady, and when she kills people, it brings her back to her youthful beauty of who she used to be. This book, this series is, and it's an ongoing series I might want to add. This isn't a series that is finished, but it is one that is currently ongoing. Um, I've read like two issues, and I'm currently working on a third issue. But it is very intense. One that I have rated four stars on Goodreads so far. I was kind of wavering to almost rate it five stars. The characters are really believable. There's not too much of a... Uh, there's not too many similarities, and it's easy to differentiate the characters. The artwork is really cool. It's kind of cartoony, but in that old style of westerns. And the characters are all likable. I mean, the one main villain, who's General Hume, he has like a really, you know, long name, because he is from the South, and I can't remember it. I know his name is like Oleander or something like that, but it's, he's General Hume. And he is like an undead person, because he was killed in a backstory, and then he's like chained in this coffin, and his his riders, which I don't know if they're undead too, but it's all kind of just weird. And this, the whole story revolves around trying to get these guns back, and they say that the guns have taken on other incarnations through history, and they give an example of they were swords at one time, and they were clubs in an earlier history. So it is one that this is a story that, like, I haven't found, you know, boring at all. It's always keeping me wanting more. It's definitely a page-turner, for sure. Um, even when the, the book one kind of ended where you thought that that would be the end of the story, but no, it just picked up and led on to, 
to further more. So um, I would have to recommend this series for people. Like, if you love The Lock and Key by Joe Hill, I think you'll really enjoy The Sixth Gun. I think it's that type of series where it's got enough suspense and paranormal that I think it'll keep your interest. Um, it's not a superhero comic, but and it's not really a Western per se. I mean, I've never read Jonah Hex, which I think I will pick up some Jonah Hex. It's kind of maybe along the lines of that, like, you know, supernatural, like, Wild West stuff. I think it's a pretty good, damn good series, and I think you should check it out. I'll show you some of the artwork on the inside of these books so you know what I'm talking about. There's some of the inside of that. I don't want to tell you too much of it because I don't want to spoil the series for anyone, but it definitely goes over a lot of, like, it takes place just after the American Civil War. So that is my little intro, my shout-out of the Six Gun series for you guys. I hope you guys were willing to check out this series. I really think it's, it's definitely a series worthy of picking up. And until next time, later, guys.